Nestled amongst the vineyards surrounding Bordeaux is the World Heritage Site saint emilion The world-famous winemaking town in the spectacular French countryside has always been on the gastronomic map, but not necessarily the golfing one. The well-known golfing family, the Morgadalg, are building a new course with the help of world-renowned golf course designer Tom Doak. Just around six months away from completion, we went to take a look at why the course will be so special. Well, I think it's going to be a special golf course because it's a family project. Uh, we found this piece of land about 10 years ago and we just uh, fell in love with it. And we got the uh, opportunity to, uh, to work with Tom Doak, which is a, 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 who is a wonderful architect. And uh, that's why we're going to do our best to really uh, make this, uh, this piece of land uh, a very good golf course. Why we sort of uh, chose Tom Doak was the philosophy of the course, you know, that we, it takes for private when we are out playing in the old ways. We take uh, three hours, uh, two some take three hours. We are not uh, running around lakes and uh, big bunkers and things. It's just a, a lovely walk in the, in, in the nature, actually. saint Emilion is a, such a, a pretty village, you know, and uh, I think also that will help uh, and uh, I mean, we're, we're just very, very fortunate to have this piece of land and then I think people here uh, recognize the fact that we respect what we have been uh, given or, and, and that we're really trying to make a, a really good golf course here. The old farmhouses and the surrounding land will be transformed into a clubhouse with a brand new restaurant and houses for the lucky few able to live at the course, with the local area set to receive a boost from such a significant project. I'm delighted uh, that Tom Doak has been uh, invited to make a course in continental Europe. And yeah, I'm a very avid golfer. With my business, I travel a lot. I guess I've played 500 courses, more than 500 courses in the world, in the five continents. And well, if you want to play a dog course and live in Bordeaux, I mean, it may involve a bit of travel. Like you may go to Cape Kidnappers or Bendon Dunes, well, to Scotland. But the fact that uh, Tom is building a course 45 minutes from home is something really special. The good thing is about uh, Tom's work is that he always respects uh, the site is given and he just tries to work with the contour, the natural contours and everything. And in fact, if you take away the, the, the flags and, and the tea boxes, you hardly see that it's a golf course. And that's what is so wonderful about his architecture. We've moved very little dirt to build the golf course. My style of architecture really focuses on the sculptural things, the greens and bunkers, you know, and, and tries to leave the contours of the, the, the larger piece of land alone. I mean, that's a way more, more efficient way of building the golf course. You, you know, a two-foot change in what, what's happening on a green is a dramatic thing. That's something that can impact whether you want to play to the left side of the fairway or the right. And if you can do that, then you don't have to move dirt in the fairway so much to make the golf course interesting. I think it will be a pure golf where you can play fast, where you have wide fairways, where you can roll the ball to the greens, do a lot of bump and runs, firm greens, and very much inspired with the British Island golf style. We're in continental Europe, but we're also in a place where English people, uh, England, it belongs to England for 250 years, and so it's a nice tribute to, to, to do that here. Tom Doak's courses have become world famous. The stunning Pacific Dunes in Oregon is a fantastic example of his characteristic flowing style. After training under the legendary Pete Dye and learning his craft at St Andrews, Tom has over 35 courses to his name and is very much in demand. The timing fit very well um, for us that we weren't, you know, after the recession in the States, there haven't been that many projects, so we've been looking in other places. And, uh, you know, I haven't worked in Europe much before because usually the permitting takes so long that, you know, if, if I meet someone new, it's 10 years before the golf course will be built. And, you know, it's hard to plan for that. Um, in this case, the 10 years of planning was already done, so it was just, can you come build this? And, and that was much more attractive.